Oh, good morning everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel this is Jonah from crops and Sack. my plan is to combine them these two cc plant one and two in this pot and then we're gonna put this pot here but i'm gonna do it outside okay guys we'll start the video so uh i prepare the flooring with this uh, Rob's plastic bag and <laughs> my point is I uh, recycle recycle this is Rob's plastic bag which I trim and I spread it on the floor so it will protect my floor <laughs> the floor is so dirty already how is everybody I hope everybody's doing good uh, if you didn't subscribe yet to my channel would you consider to subscribe if you like the videos and it's highly appreciated okay so this is it so what I'm gonna do is to get this one this is the where I will repot the two the two ZC plant and after that I'm gonna put it in this basket so this product is this is from uh, I do believe home goods and this is also from home goods which I shared to you $16.99 I told you that <laughs> Um, baskets like this is cheaper I don't know made of what I mean made from Vietnam it says here okay let's do this because my I, my plants needs to be pre-potted so I hope everybody's doing good so I'm just gonna trace it mark like this drainage here drainage hole which i i put on and i'm bothered with this big uh, space here since it's gonna be in the basket i wanna close it how to close this like this tape okay guys so it's done and uh no more <laughs> no more opening here my point is so the soil will not come out and then this is the liner so we'll put it like this so right. I'm gonna use potting mix and then uh, from miracle Grow, and then a, a few drops of neem oil I'm gonna amend the, the soil and this one a few sprinkle of uh, this osmocot all right, so these are the three ingredients that I'm gonna amend. Did you see the beetle? So add a few drops of so uh, a <laughs> few drops. Add some water. And then a few drops of concentrated milk oil. There you go. And then mix it. And then a few drops of this. Okay. That's enough. And then mix your soil thoroughly. They have this uh, sphagnum moss on the top. All my plants inside the house is with this sphagnum moss. It helps in uh, to, it helps in the moisture. So I'm gonna take out it, and I can I can put it back later. Okay, guys. So let's check the plants. Just got 
decorated. Look at that. This is a big roots. Hey. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do next, Tom? So look at the roots. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is uh, this one. And this one, we're gonna combine like this. I hope they look good. All right. But for now, let me clean the mess here so I can function. Okay, guys, so let's continue. I put already a soil over here. And then we'll repot the plants. So, of course, let's clean first. Clean, clean, clean. Make sure there's no dead leaves inside. And then I'm gonna spray neem oil. Neem oil is the one that makes the plants, my plants beautiful. Just sharing. If you like to use it, a lot of benefits. All right, so the I'm not gonna take out the soil over here because they're clean. The one that I took out is the other one because it's been a long time. Okay. Can you see? <laughs> Let me adjust the camera. Okay, adjust it. Alright, so like that. So this one. This one is from this container from my niece. Like I said, a few years ago, so I changed it. I will completely, I, <laughs> correction, I remove all the soil, old soil, because it's uh, not healthy anymore. So question why we need to remove, uh, to change the soil, because this time I added a uh, neem oil concentrated plus the osmocot, so it's going to be, have more nutrients. So this is the plus that I got from my knees. Love it, love it, love it. Then we'll fix it. I like uh, these plants because I haven't seen any bugs and I don't want to bring them outside. For those who ask why I don't bring, I, I only bring them outside once I, once I will repot. And then fix it, fix it, fix it. Okay, my the, uh, the front would be this one. So I put the the remaining plants outside, uh, outside at the back. Okay, so we're just gonna hold on. How is everybody? I hope everybody is doing good. Thank you so much for always watching uh, Crops and Succulents. And I hope to, I hope that this video will help you how to repot your plants to a bigger container. And like I said, you can join them all together. Because like I said, I love to I love plants that are lush. I'm trying to rebump my <laughs> my patio again. I'm planning to bring out the the IKEA shelf 
that my son so I can put the my new growing succulents the propagated ones because over here I can put them back again in the even I'll get a cover another cover for that uh, greenhouse I cannot put them back because uh, like I said the sun shines on that location is this area because uh, the sun shines on this area and they cannot tolerate the, the, the sun inside I uh, the, the, the heat inside the inside that uh, greenhouse so we're gonna move the greenhouse to the I'm waiting for Michael Michael is coming soon by next month retiring if the company will give him another job here you don't want to be anymore in other places out places okay there you go there you go looks so good but uh i'm gonna put uh where is my You're gonna put Paul over here, so I'm gonna the one the stick that I took out. I'm gonna put it back here, and then some roots are out. Are you are you roots? <laughs> I'm talking to the roots, guys. <laughs> I hope <laughs> the roots will not respond. So, so I need more soil here. plant is the easiest ornamental plants I encounter that's why I got another one I don't know yet how to propagate them like I said uh, I'm reluctant to propagate ornamental plants because I want them to be lush and I'm still learning all right it's like that it's like this. It's a final spray before I will share them for you. Okay, then. So, guys, I'm gonna put back this pole, pole that I took out, until I make uh, some, some more. <laughs> so this is uh, just to let this. Uh, this uh, part of this is a plant to be to be uh, steady stable if there is standing like that And then this one is like this you see that it's uh, like a because they're new growth this is a new growth you can see from their stem it's still uh, white green so what I'm gonna do is this is the most stable one I'm gonna use this like uh, a pole for this uh, one two three babies plus this one so I'm gonna put like this I have this clip and you can clip them there you go awesome all right there you go they're cute then uh, the last one would be this one and I'm just gonna put this I'm not gonna wear it anymore because it's still uh, moist So the, the sphagnum moss helped me to detect if they are already, uh, how you call it, already 
drying up the plants, the soil. Once I touch it and it's uh, dry, and then I'll check the soil. So I'll just, if the soil is still uh, moist, I'll just uh, squeeze a water here, spray water on the top of the sphagnum moss. It helps them. There you go. So don't throw the sphagnum moss. You see, I didn't throw. I just took it out from the pre from the previous container, and then now I can utilize it back. Then if it mixed to the soil, it's okay. It helps also draining drainage in the soil. So nothing is gonna be waste. There you go. All right, guys. I'll, I'll see you on the reveal. Bye bye. Always remember, God loves you, and Jonah loves you, and uh, keep sharing, keep blogging, and keep uh, keep supporting, and uh, be safe at all times, and see you around. Always remember, passion makes a garden and a home beautiful. Love you guys. See you around. Basket. Take this out. Clean this. Supposed to be twenty-eight dollars. Look at the price, but now sixteen ninety-nine.